yeah we will send denim hello and welcome back to my channel this is didsbury art studio and i'm sally and i've got the art class here today and we're going to be doing part two of suffolk puffs slash yo-yos so let's get into it okay then so for this one I've layered up netting and then all i've done is exactly the same as we have done with the other suffolk puffs but you you sew all the way around but then you let me just show you you just pull the needle through and then you pop the bead on just right there basically mm -hmm. and then every time you do a little stitch pop a, a bead on and then it just comes out really nicely like i quite like the effect with the beads in between what do you think can you see those yeah, I like them. I think it's just a nice idea to sort of decorate it as well. I am um, finishing this, I'm just drawing some figures. Just that so you've taken apart one of these necklaces? Yeah, and then... just beaded it through. Got like golden ones and then some white ones on this mm. one. Do you keep them separate or like one piece doubled up? Or... I don't know, I feel like... That looks good. They look quite cool together with, mm. with how many there are. So what I've done here is I've just made some different sizes of the Suffolk Puffs and then I've just started overlapping them, which creates this different heights and textures and then I'm just adding tiny little stitches that can't be seen so literally just taking my needle back through where I came up and you only need a few around the edge and then once they're all sewn down on the fabric you can take it out of the hoop and position it onto the mannequin if you wanted to or you don't have to sew them onto fabric you can just sew them all together if you wanted to but it works quite well doesn't it just yeah. a few of them so this one has been done with sewing the circle in the center and then you pull the and gather it up and then i've also done a circle a bit higher up so that when you turn it that way it kind of holds the rippled effect with the fabrics but also I've cut off some wool I can use obviously different colours that are appropriate but I just want to see what these would look like with you can actually stuff them with the wadding but I was just thinking like maybe you could put wools in there and have wraps or beading I think you'd probably have to maybe I'd use that light blue but yeah it's quite nice to just play around with other things that you can do with them so once you've got your suffit puffs like this this one has got quite a large hole in the center so i'm just going to look at some fabrics that i could add in the middle and you literally just straight away just you can put that in i mean that's quite nice just leaving it yeah. hanging out isn't it but it lies flat like that, you can get contrast, the nice colour in there. Really? 
you've got your bigger your Suffolk puff and then I've just hand stitched around the top smaller one and just choose colours that go well with one another. Contrasts. Yeah. So this is one of the students' pieces of work that they did some of the Suffolk puffs today and they had painted some of the smocking the other day. This is another student's work and he's been using acrylics to paint on the textured background, almost like a brick wall. And that was the brickwork smocking background. got another one here which again the Suffolk puffs looking good with adding the beading today and using some fabric in the center but they look overall really good as a composition and these are the ones that we did today I've got some different sizes of the Suffolk puffs I've sewn them down onto this woolen fabric and that was another little sample that I did there with two little circles, which I showed you. And that was stacking the Suffolk puffs. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today and if you did don't forget to give me a like, leave a comment, it all helps my channel grow and I will see you in a brand new video next time. Bye!